Hello everyone, it's Benny, and welcome back to the 3D Game Engine tutorial series. In this video, we're going to be taking a brief hiatus from integrating our transform into the hierarchy by integrating our camera into the hierarchy. And here's how we're going to do this. The very first thing I really want to fix is the rotation system, so that we don't have our temporary set of rotations here, the ones that are artificially limited just because, well, I, I want an artificial limitation. So, this doesn't... Now, what I'm about to do doesn't directly have to do with that, but I really don't have a better place to throw this in, so sorry. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create another rotate function in our vector class. And this one's going to be specifically for rotating by quaternions. So, I don't need to specify an angle and an axis. It's just going to be quaternion... I'll call it rotation, there. And... It's pretty much going to be this, except, well, without the rotation. And what you could do here is you could just say, you could change this code to say this sub rotation. Wait. Yeah, this sub new quaternion dot init rotation with axis and angle. Wait. No, that <laughs> happened. Now, I'm not calling this constructor. This dot rotate with that. There we go. What you could do is just call this new rotate function, passing in, well, how we initialize the rotation quaternion. And that's perfectly fine. But... I got really bored in one of my calculus classes. So I went ahead and just derived the direct rotation equation for quaternions with, without having to create a quaternion instance. So... I'm just going to go ahead and throw this in here. And it looks something like this, except without all the two radians. Yeah, I went ahead and wrote it off-screen just because, again, I got this. I just plugged in all those, the numbers into the equation. Like I, I just took the equation I just showed you with the quaternion, with the initialized rotation axis whatnot, and I just I plugged it in, did all the algebra, and I came up with this equation except without the two radians and whatnot. And just to sort of space it out a bit, I'm gonna... Oh. Well, never mind. Something seems to be missing here. One moment. Yeah, I thought something seemed off about this. For some reason, I forgot rotation around the y-axis in this version of the equation. I'm... I'm really not sure why. So, what I did is I went... I found my actual version of the equation, the one that actually works, Plus, it includes comments telling you sort of how each part of the equation works. So, as it turns out, once you boil it all down, all it's doing is it's doing some basic cross and dot product, and along with a little bit of multiplication by some constants, like cosine and sine of the angle, and then that gets you rotation on various axes, and all you do is you add all those up, and that creates the rotation. That's that's what quaternion rotation boils down to once you do all the algebra to factor out all the quaternion nonsense. So yeah, although it does actually take in the negative of the angle, so keep that in mind. But yeah, now if I run, it should still work. So yeah, look at that. It's working just like before, so camera isn't broken, and remember, that's the part that used the rotation function, so yeah, that's the part that's showing, yeah, it actually does work. Um, well, yeah, so there you go. And you don't have to do this again. Y you can just call the pass into the ro rotate thing if you want. That's perfectly fine. I just did this because I got bored in calculus class one day. So yeah. And with that, now let's actually correct the camera. So, what I'm going to do with my camera is I'm going to change it. I'm going to make it a component of the engine. So, it's going to work a lot like all our other components. And in effect, that's going to fix the whole rotation conundrum because it's going to be based on quaternion rotation, just like everything else in the engine. But first off, I'm going to flip this around so it's axis and then float angle because that's bothering me. Of course, it would help if I don't destroy the names in the process, but you know. So there. And of course, I'm going to just flip these around so I don't get an error. And yeah, doesn't matter too much at this point, but it's bothering me, so yeah. And anyways, now that we have all this, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by moving camera to the components package because it's going to be a component now. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to make it extend game component and voila, camera, you're a component. Just like that, that easy. And the first thing I really want to do is actually something I believe I did in not spotlight, but in base light, which is override the add to rendering engine function. Yeah, I'm going to change this so that... Sure, I'll put it above input. Why not? I'm going to change this so that, well, we're going to add the camera to the rendering engine. So we're going to say, rend except instead of adding light, we're going to say rendering engine dot add camera this. Now, of course, in the rendering engine, this will require... Did it change something here? Oh, right, because I... Oh, right, because I moved camera. Okay, that makes sense. And what I'm going to do is... Yeah, okay, never mind. <laughs> For a second there, I, I got worried, but yeah. What, what I want to do is I want to set the main camera so that rather than being, well... What I want to do is I want to create the function I just used. <laughs> there we go. So create add camera function takes in camera camera. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit flustered today. Hopefully it doesn't confuse you. And all I'm going to do here, I'm not going to create a list of cameras. I'm just going to set main camera to camera. How do we handle more than one camera? We'll worry about that later. Right now, just well, I just I'm just going to do it like this. And I'm not going to initialize main camera here, just so I'll get an error if I don't put in a camera. I'm not going to delete it, I'm just going to comment out the line, because I'm going to need to use it later. But yeah, I'm going to get rid of that. And in camera, I'm going to, right here, override, so that hopefully this should be using the game components input. Yeah. And that means, guess what? I can go to the rendering engine, I can get rid of the temporary input hack. No more need for this in there. No more need for it in the core engine. It just... It just works without that. So yeah. Isn't it nice having everything be part of the scene graph? All of... Everything just seems to work out so beautifully. Another good thing about this, we don't need any of our variables in here other than projection. All of it, every last bit of it, is going to be set... Or it's going to be part of the transform. So, you guessed it. All we're going to have to... Oh, we're going to have to change the move function. But that's okay. All we're going to have to do to get the, the view projection is init rotation with the transform. So I'm going to say git transform dot git ra, uh, dot git forward. So that's how I'm going to get that. And here I'm going to say git transform... You know what? How about this? Camera rotation is git transform dot get rotation dot to rotation matrix. There we go. That's a lot better. <laughs> and for translation, yeah, git transform dot get pass and whatnot. Okay. So yeah. So yeah, and this is the beauty of the whole transform, or er, not transform, the component based system where we have a big giant hierarchy. All the transform stuff, now it's handed it's handled for us. We don't even need to worry about it in our camera class because it's just, it's already used. We don't need to worry about it. It's that simple. Move. Yeah. This stuff, I'm going to change. Get pass right and stuff. Yeah. All this, I'm just going to comment out entirely. The only piece of code I care about here is the, the um, input stuff. Although I am going to com uncomment out move now. <laughs> Just. Yeah, yeah, because. I don't know. I, I don't know why I'm. Meh. Bleh. <laughs> I just. For some reason, I feel like doing th this way today. So I'm going to set the position to. I mean, get transform set position. To get transform. Dot set position. Or. To get transform dot get position. Dot add the direction times the amount. So there, just sort of changing this to the, based on the transform. And there. Now here I'm going to have a git transform dot git rotation dot get forward and whatnot, but that's okay. Because hey, everything else 
everything should still be working out. Rotate Y and rotate X. So those are going to be the interesting ones. What we're going to do is we're going to say get transform dot wait yeah get rot dot there's no rotate function for this? Oh right, because it's a multiplication thing. So I'm going to multiply by new quaternion taking in these parameters. There. Much better. And, oh right, new, quat new quaternion dot init rotation taking in those parameters. Much better. I probably have one more, too many of these, don't I? No, I don't. Okay. Oh, because I completely for I forgot the X. Okay, never mind, never mind. Everything's going right. But yeah, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my old rotation, multiply it by a quaternion with that initialize... Yeah, multiply by quaternion representing this new rotation. And it's just that simple. For rotate Y, this should be... Whoops, sorry about that. This should be the Y axis variable. For rotate X, well, I'm going to take in this... Just copy the parameters here. Except, I'm going to need, I think, one more of these. No? Need more? Okay. I can do that. And this, I'm just going to say, new vector 3f100. Yeah, that should be the x-axis. And, if everything's working out, that should work. So let's go to test game. I'm going to create yet another game object. In fact, let's go ahead and demonstrate something. I was going to hold off till either the next video or the video after for this, but might as well show it off now. I want to add a game object on one line, because I'm not planning on changing the position of this. This is going to be a new game object, I'm going to add the component, and this is going to be my camera, of course. So I'm going to say it's going to have the camera component. And for the camera, I'm going to take in some parameters. Right, looking for the parameters in the rendering engine, which will just be all of this stuff. I know. It's... In fact, let's just copy the whole new camera thing. Yeah, I know, it's a lot of shuffling code around, but once this is done, well, hopefully you've already started to see just how much it's helping out our code base here. And there. But, add component. Doesn't return anything. So, you know, wouldn't it be nice if in our game object we changed add component to return this? Huh? So there, now we can just... Now we should be able to initialize things in one line, just like that. And now if I run... It's... getting an issue. Okay, that main get main camera dot get transform dot get pause. Okay, that's okay. Fair enough. I just guess I'll just have to change that in all these things. So yeah, need dot get transform dot get position now. That's okay. And in forward spot, same sort of issue. There. So now all of our lights should be taking advantage of our new thing, so there. And now, it should sort of work. Yeah? No? Oh, maybe so? Oh! I know why it's... Okay, it's not working because I didn't... S <laughs> I'm not setting that rotation to anything. Okay, so get transform dot set rotation to this. There. That's a lot of stuff just for... Rotating, but okay. Yeah, don't worry. Soon enough, we'll have a way that handles it better than the set rotation, to get rotation thing, or set and get thing that we have going on right now. So don't worry about that. Now we should see the slight issue that we have right now. Now, I should be able to, yeah, rotate like this, but moving up and down doesn't quite work. And... It's not that the rotation... Also, my con controls are reversed right now. That's great. <laughs> but that's okay. I can just pass in... 
Actually, I can just make my sensitivity negative. Shouldn't that work? In fact, yeah, I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to make my sensitivity negative. So now hopefully this will show off the error better, or better, at least for me. So yeah, rotate on X, or rotate around the Y axis, just like move mouse left and right, works fine. Try moving up and down, you get this. And the reason is we're rotating on the global X axis, not the camera's local X axis. How do we get that? Well, it's in here somewhere. Where is it? When we're rotating, aha, right here. Change this from the global X axis to get transform, to get rotation, to get right. Because that should give us the local X axis. And with that, I move around, and look at this. It's working just fine, just like before. And we don't even need a whole bunch of specialized camera code for it. It's working just based on the transform system we have set up for every other object. So look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Granted, this is a little bit of... Yeah, this is a lot of code to have for just basic rotation. But we'll be addressing that shortly enough. And, well, there you go. That's all there is to it. And, oh, and I almost forgot to show you the best part. Since we're basing our rotation on quaternions now, if I try rotating all the way down, it just does a loop-to-loop. -loop. No sort of ridiculous jitter that kind of looked like... Oh! Well, this is interesting. What did I do? Huh. Well, I'm not sure how I did that. Well... It appears that I can break the camera by doing too much rotation. That's... strange. Oh, I know why. I'm not normalizing the rotation. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I just forget left out one thing I... Did I leave it as normalized in here? Oh, okay, no, no, I just forgot to rename it. Okay. I guess I'll call it normalized then. It doesn't matter, but meh. Okay, I just forgot to normalize it, and that's why. It's just accumulating errors because I'm not normalizing anything. And with that, that should not have the ridiculous rotation error. Yeah, look at that. Staying perfectly sharp all the time. So there, now we have fully generic rotation that doesn't involve slowly but surely conforming onto the, some bizarre center point. And there, and because it's gonna bother me, and Quaternion, rename this to normalized. There. Yeah, go ahead, do the refactor. And that shouldn't break anything, unless I really screwed something up. Okay, great! So, with that, we can get rid of all this, yeah, all this excess code here. We can go ahead and inline the move just because, whoops, just because. <laughs> Don't have, mm, no, I probably should, yeah, no, I'll leave it like this. Why not? It, it works. I don't have good reason to do it, so why not leave it like this? And with that, that's really everything. I, I wanted to cover in this video. We've got our camera. It's integrated into the hierarchy so we can add cameras and look at the world like that. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned. And I'll see you next time.